Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the cryptocurrency market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, January 19, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trade and courses. Your, the link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has been going back and forward the last these last few days on Saturday, Sunday, and also today. We have broken down towards the 20 exponential. And as you can see, 20 exponential is basically the uh, major support in this market. Um, the move here is very interesting. Uh, at this point, I think we are going to see a breakout to the upside or a breakout to the downside. And the reason why I say that is because this is forming a triangle here. So we have the highs roughly there and we have the lows here. So we're trading into this corner and usually what happens here is that either we break to the upside or we break to the downside. So considering how often we have tried to to um, break to the downside and the 20 exponential has been holding um, all the time, I do favor the upside. So 40,000 is uh, most likely where we are going. We are going to travel in towards this corner. We're going to stay at roughly at uh, 35 to 60, uh, no, 35,000 to 36,000 the next uh, day or two. And then we are just going to pop towards the 40,000 dollar level so if you look at technical indicators they are fairly mixed um, uh, rsi is flat so 60 um, the cci is basically flat the stochastic is flat the macd is bearish at this point so this basically means that we are going to trade sideways into this corner and uh, if you look on the four hour chart and the, or one hour chart you will basically see when we are going to take off in this market so we could also look at the Bollinger Bands and look at the at uh, at the daily uh, the daily chart, and you can see there's a lot of room to the upside. We'll run we won't run into major resistance in the here until we reach forty two thousand, and usually Bitcoin can go way outside of the Bollinger Band before we pull back. So that is most likely where we're heading to uh, uh, in this week or in the next weeks. So let's look at Ethereum. So this cryptocurrency has basically been outperforming Bitcoin the last few days. Uh, we have not tested the 20 exponential again, which is at 1065 at this current stage. So at this point, we are, we are basically testing these previous low, uh, highs here. And there's a lot of room to the upside. We could actually go all the way up towards uh, 1437 uh, before we see a pullback in this cryptocurrency. So there is room to the upside. We're at 65. We're not overbought in the daily chart. Uh, the CCI is flat, the stochastic is flat, and the, uh, the, the MACD is flat. So technical indicators are not showing a lot of momentum to the upside. And that's probably the reason why we are basically just been trading sideways the last three days. We have been going up uh, more than Bitcoin, uh, but uh, but uh, it has been very, very, very choppy. It has basically been plus 2% to the upside, plus minus uh, to the downside um, within minutes and so on. But at this point, if we pull back towards the 20 exponential, there's going to be a lot of buying in at 1068. And that after that, they're basically going to target 1430 at at that point. So let's look at the uh, XRP. So as you can see, basically nothing is happening here as uh, it did prior to this, this massive boom here. So for a very long time, uh, this was just going straight down and then it popped to the upside all the way to uh, 0 0.75. And then it broke down again, all the way down towards um, uh, 0 0.1667, rallied, and now we're trading underneath the 20 and the 200 moving average, and just above the 20 simple moving average here in the Bollinger Band. So I do not like trading this 
at all because we are basically in the middle of nowhere. We could break down to the downside. We could rally up towards the 50 and then break down again. We need to basically break the 50 and it has to show signs of momentum to the to the upside. Similar to this, just not this ridiculously ridiculous move, but a move similar to this along the 20 um, exponential moving average. That is what I'm looking to see. And that will also be an indication that this is about to trend to the upside. But these markets are extremely volatile. They can rally 20-30% to the upside and then break 20-30% um, to the downside in just a matter of minutes. So if you look at technical indicators, they are basically all over the place. RSI is flat, CCI is flat, uh, Stochastic is turning around here, and the MACD is just above the signal line but underneath zero. So it's bullish, but it's bearish in the basically in the long run. We can see that we are technically trading downwards. So that's the reason why I said we could actually see a lower lower. We could see this going down towards 0 0.9 or even lower than that, basically the lower part of the bullion band. So at this point, need clear indication where this is technically going in order to buy into this or basically sell this. So let's look at Litcoin. So Litcoin has, has uh, basically been really choppy. It has been staying here at the 20 exponential for a very long time. Um, if, if you, for example, all of these, you know, these cryptocurrencies that I'm, I'm trying to analyze at the moment, if I were to invest in any of them, it would be basically Litcoin. And then also, uh, yeah, at this current stage, it would be Litcoin. This is showing a lot of, uh, support here at the 20 exponential it is breaking down and then pulling back up at this point we are just going slowly to the upside we are trading at the 147 at this current stage technical indicators are turning around so it does favor the upside at this point i think the top here of the bullinger band or the previous highs here are going to be the target it probably will take a fairly long time in order to get there but that is most likely where we are going this is also a star, the um, cryptocurrency that has been very volatile. We can see that these previous highs back in, in June in 2019 is what most likely is giving the problems. We ran into major um, resistance here, and that's also what we are seeing over here. This was just a parabolical move above this, but it did break. So it will most likely within time go higher and higher but this has been very very volatile in the past the highest this was well, all the way back to 2017 it went all the way up to 377 before breaking down all the way down to 22 and now we're back at roughly 137 so whether or not we'll see moves like this probably um I think that we are going to see a market that is more gradually grind into the upside than parabolical moves like this. Um, so yes, that is what I think that's going to happen. But at this point, 20 exponential is holding. And as long as that is the case, then it's fairly safe to buy into this and target the previous uh, these previous highs here are roughly at 177 with a stop loss right underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So let's look at NEO. So this is um, this cryptocurrency rallied 17% today when the day when Bitcoin fell 2%. So it has been outperforming Bitcoin significantly the last few days. But I think it's getting way of ahead of itself. Uh, we're at trading at the 27. We're trading at 27 at this current stage, and uh, we may expect a pullback towards these previous highs here. That's roughly at 25, 22, 24, and in worst case scenario, we'll fall back towards the 20 exponential moving average. That's roughly at 21, and then we continue this rally. We can see that uh, RSI is at. Uh, 75 cci is uh, is very it's very overbought the cci is bullish the stochastic is bullish the macd is bullish so well we are heading much higher 
but we have also had a really nice run here. Um, in uh, basically in yeah at Christmas in December we were down at twelve point thirty one, and now we're at twenty seven point twenty. It has basically doubled, more than doubled, in just well four weeks. So uh, four, three, four weeks. So it has been an amazing move for the, this cryptocurrency. So this is uh, what they are calling the uh, the Chinese Ethereum. So it is uh, basically the competition to Ethereum. And to be fairly honest, I think this is the cryptocurrency that is going to be one of the biggest in the future. So the Chinese are just pumping money into um, technology and uh, and uh, electronic currency is going to be a major play a major major role in Chinese society as a whole and if this kind of becomes the main dominant cryptocurrency in China then you can just say bye bye Bitcoin because this is going to be way way bigger than Bitcoin so but at this point pull back towards roughly uh, these previous highs at 25 24. Dollars. I mean, think that people people will start start buying in here if it falls to that. And in best case scenario, fall back towards the twenty exponential at roughly twenty one dollars. That will see a lot of interest and people will start buying here. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.